Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Vinny, and I am the frontman for the band, the Semi Supervillains. And today, we are checking out my brand new Gretsch Resonator guitar. Just picked this one up this week, actually, because last week I was over at my buddy Matt's farm, and we were playing some guitar around the campfire. Then our other buddy Mikey came over and brought over his Gretsch uh, Resonator that was just like this, played it, and I loved it. Um, I actually like his a little bit more than I like mine because um, he had it set up a certain way but I got in touch with Mikey and he gave me some info on what he did to get his sounding good but we're gonna mess with mine today see if we can get some cool sounds out of it maybe make a tune for you so stick around we got more to come all right so we're gonna do five that is five nice little guitar licks that are great for transitions and we can probably use so here's number one all right, we'll play that one more time. It's pretty nice. I like that one. All right. All right, and uh, number two here, number two is just going to be, this is lick number two of five. This is going to be, I guess, uh, we'll do what, what I did in the intro here. And I just got to say, I love how this thing sounds with that bottleneck glass slide. But here's that uh, intro of this video lick that I just played for you. One more time. Ready? Two, three. All right, I wanted to bring you a little closer just so you can get a more of an appreciation for this awesome instrument. So basically this Dobro resonator, whatever you wanna call it, it has like a steel speaker cone inside of it, which causes the, I guess, the, the, it to vibrate. It's kind of like, looks like a spider underneath this top panel, like a spider web. But it sounds really cool. And this guitar is really, this instrument is really responsive to the pick and like fingers too. So, you know, you heard me playing with a pick, we'll do something like that. Like it sounds great, but then I, if I said play the same thing with my fingers, and I love that this instrument has such a good dynamic range like that, just because it makes it more like this is a tool for me. Like right, like I make music, you know, on the side for a lot of different people and myself. And when I have a tool that can do a lot of different things, you know, from you know different volumes and different feel and emotion, it's it's a fantastic specialized instrument to have in the closet, but it's just... Like, it almost sounds like an acoustic when you play it softly, which is fine because it sounds a lot different than my Martin, because I do have an, a mahogany Martin acoustic guitar, like a medium-sized body one, and I'll bring that out a little bit later to compare to this thing, but this thing is just uh, really a unique sounding... <laughs> Feel a little bit of Zeppelin there. Since I got you here too, let's do that lick number three. And I do have to say, it is hard making up all these licks off the top of my head while recording a video. So appreciate me. I need your applause. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> my ego needs it. <laughs> but let's, I think we could get like maybe a. Maybe not with the slide. Let's just try it. Nice. 
Yeah, that could be a song, really. We're calling that lick number three. Number three, just drop my pick. <laughs> All right, lick four, I'm, I dropped the slide and we're gonna use my fingers because four fingers and this is lick number four. And a thumb. <laughs> That was kind of cool. We'll try that again. And then breathe. I like that. Lick four, that was it, right there. <laughs> All right, lick number five. Let me know which one was your favorite. One, two, three, four, or five. All right, well, let's see if we can put all these licks together and maybe make a song. Thanks for sticking around and watching the whole video. For those of you that do watch my videos, usually this time I pull out a record and talk about how it influenced me, but this time we're doing something different. And for you guys, you're gonna be the first to know about some really big news I got. So this news is the Semi Supervillains, my band, we're releasing an album, and it's gonna be awesome. I think if you like any of the content on this channel, you're really gonna like it. It's definitely like a Southern rock, kind of like 1970s throwback style which is personally one of my favorite areas of rock and roll music. But the thing I need your help with is it's called a Spotify pre-save. And I'm going to put the link down in the description. And basically, all you need to do is click it. If That is, if you're a Spotify listener. And basically, what it does is it's like a small prayer to the Spotify playlist algorithm gods. Because everybody in the music industry knows how to get your music discovered and to actually make a living in this industry is through Spotify playlisting. And, and each pre-save... Save, means a whole lot to the how well that the album will perform digitally and how we can get noticed and things like that. So please, please, if you're watching this, it doesn't cost you a dime, click like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and if you're a Spotify user, hit that pre-save button. I thank you personally, and here's a sneak peek of what, peek of what the album artwork is going to be. So there you go. We'll see you next time.